All right, guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick video of getting our boat ready. We're gonna take the boat out tomorrow on the lake hey guys. and go tubing. Hey, Drew. Guess what? What? We're gonna go tubing. Yay, tubing. Uh, Anyways, I have it hooked up. I, I took the cover off, cleaned the cover off, pressure washed the uh, sides because I had it parked over there in the trees, like right over there. And the cover does pretty good keeping stuff out, but like on the back of the boat and around the edges, like, you know, stuff gets on there. You gotta pressure wash it like three times a year. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys the inside of the boat real quick. And I'll do like a wrap around, but this is the, uh, I did a video of when I bought it. I haven't had a chance, I haven't had a chance to take it out this year so far. So this would be the first time we take it out. Hopefully it works out, but this is the 386, 386 um, XF, the Stratus. And it is, has the Evinrude E-Tech HO 150 on it with the four, four blade prop. What? What? This is our um, second time going boating. Is it? Yeah. We've went more than that, I thought. No, we only went one time. No. Yes, Anyways, me. Three times. Oh, okay. There it is. Look, it says composite construction. Has a removable carpet liner in there. It has a live well, two live wells, a front, a small one in the front, and then a big one in the back. And uh, has the Minn Kota. I think it's a 70 on it or 75 and I put the the iPilot on there which is the uh, GPS which has anchor mode and all that kind of stuff is pretty cool and trackability where if you like trolling around you can memorize where exactly where you're at and it will do it will go back that same exact way automatically but uh, you got to figure all that stuff out I figured it out one time but I haven't used it in a while so basically this is a fish and ski boat and it's called a, like a deep V hole. Um, it, it does about 40, you know, depending on how many people you have in there. I'm gonna climb up this ladder right here. See this little teeny ladder? Yeah, it does. It's like depending on how many people you have in the boat and how much weight you have, depend is, is how fast it's gonna go. But I've had it up to 40. 46 miles an hour so but this way um that thing um don't um be careful on the ladder because you might close your head open on this yeah good job thanks thanks for telling us so don't crack your head open on the uh, cement because that's not good oh anyways i had the vacuum up here someone left my light on i guess that was me but let me get, i'm just going to show them the boat okay let me show them the boat so get down real quick so basically it has four captain's chairs four captain's chairs right here guys see this and they're all removable they're all removable what yeah i was going to show them that there you go that's nice okay so it has four captain's chairs with straps right there they're all removable swiveling you can swivel them if you um, if there's a lock and uh, this one right here has hydraulics on it too, so you can go up and down with that one. This is the helm right here. Man, I told Nathan, I told Nathan to wipe all this stuff off. He didn't do a good job. The helm, he got the, uh, the fuel gauge, the trim up, trim down. Power. All your switches right there, your horn, everything's turned off right now, so it doesn't work. I was just looking at the uh, PSI gauge. It looks like it has pressure on it. Fuel gauge looks like it's half a tank. Trim up, trim down looks like it's going, but it's pretty good. Pretty um, good steering system, hydraulic. Forward and back, I mean throttle, and uh, reverse and forward on that right there. But yeah, it's a nice boat. It has the Infinity stereo system on there, which is good. This is a good little compartment right here, which I keep all my stuff. You know, 22 bullets right there. Stop, Drew. I was going to show him. That's the iPilot right there for... Cool. That's the iPilot right there for the... Um, you know the trolling motor right there and it has anchor mode so you can just press a button and it will hover right in that position 
within like a 10, I think it's a 10 foot radius. There's the gunnels right there on the sides. What's up, Addison? Nathan's on his game again. Is he really? What is he playing, Fortnite? Yeah, Nathan's addicted to Fortnite, so it's not good. I don't blame you. I don't see how anybody can play a video game that long. Like, yeah. Did you really? Every single day? You found a key? Put it back in there, please. Don't lose my keys. Thank you. So I was going to show you guys the live well right here. There's a live well, so you can fit a bunch of fish in there if you ever catch any. And it's circulating and uh, aerated too, so that's cool. And you got these little jump seats right here. And then when you pull this up, that's where you store the uh, two, because this is a two-stroke motor, so you put the oil down in there. And I have the anchor if I need one, and a rope and everything in there for emergencies. Got my fire extinguisher somewhere. I got the there's the fire extinguisher over there. Then I have a headlight, well, very very bright light for if you get trapped at night or whatever. Um, there's the other jump seat. Is over here. Is right there. And then under this one, that's where the cranky battery is. I mean, that's where the yeah the cranky battery is. And here's the main breaker right here, so I could turn that on if I want to. And now I think I could turn turn the power on right here, which now I can turn the radio on. Let's see if this radio works. There it is. Put the music on. Let's see what I can do. It's a good, uh, good stereo system. It's pretty loud, and it's Bluetooth too, so you can hook, you can hook anything you want to up to it. Let me show you the front. Oh, let me show you this. This is like a another storage compartment. There's the tube right there. Oh, I need to remember to bring the pump. You can fit everything in fishing poles or whatever you need to bring. Tomorrow we're going tubing, so we're not going to bring yeah, fishing poles. I'm I really kind of want to bring just like one fishing pole, just because. But I, I do have to remember to bring that pump. Because if we don't bring the pump, it's like a battery pump. You put it on the battery and it just inflates the tube really fast. So then you walk up front here. Oh, by the way, that's 99 inches wide right there. From. From gunnel to gunnel, right there, 99 inches wide. Um, there is the front live well right there, and it's aerated and recirculating. I wanted to leave that open to dry it out. There's a triple charger. There's the other two batteries right there. Those are for the trolling motors and the triple charger, and they are 50% charged. And there's the, the switch, on and off switch, for the trolling motor power. And I, I utilize that trolling motor just even if I'm not fishing, because like I said, it has it has like anchor mode on it. And you just press that button and it will hover you in the same, you know, same position. So, all right, here's the window right here. So, go back, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's more compartments right up here too. You got this one here for storage. We can put some life vests in there. And then there's another one here for storage. So, yeah. And there's spots for speakers up here too. If you guys want to put speakers, it's already wired up and everything. Also, if I wanted to put another a uh, sonar depth finder, I could put a 7 inch up there in the front too. It already has, it already has the uh, navigation lights on and off. And then it has the trim for the motor if I want to do that. And that's where the navigation lights hook up right there. Um, what, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was going to show you this Lowrance. This is a Lowrance Hook 7. And it's a really good, really good, um, well, not really good, but it's like a decent uh, depth finder, sonar, GPS combination. And uh, it helps you out a lot. I would I wouldn't have a boat without having one of those things because you can like really get lost on the lake. That's it's not fun. Right? You only get lost on the lake, do you, Drew? No, I don't. Hey, Nita. Daddy, guess what? You what? remember the giant um, watermelon floaty? We can maybe bring those. A giant watermelon floaty? Yeah. 
Oh, and, oh, and throw it in the water? Yeah? You want to? All right. So there it is, guys. So you press enter to continue. And what lake was this? I think this was Lake Sinclair. Press menu. And let's see. Go to settings. Enter. Oh, here we go. You just press minus like that. I'm trying to see what lake that is. It's like Lake Jackson. Yeah, it's Lake Jackson because look at all, look at how many times I've been around that area. All right, so I'll turn the power off. Anyway, so um, that's just a little tour of the boat. Oh yeah, this boat also has um, this little compartment right here for the pump. Um, accessories, not accessories, but the different pump um, tubings and stuff so you can get, get access to it, which is very nice. There it is, a little compartment. So, put that back down. All right, I'm gonna turn this power back off real quick. Shut these seats. And I'm gonna load these, load these life vests up. I gotta make sure we have enough life vests because that's, that's how it is. Like, if you go out, you have the kids have to have a life vest on at all times, and the adults have to have one at least inside the boat. One per person. And you have to have one of those like throw things where you can throw it in the water and rescue people like that. All right. And I'm going to be pulling it with F-150. There it is. There it is. The old okay, dependable F-150 Ford. Can't beat Ford, right guys? Right? What did you want to say? Okay, so it's not time to talk into your video. Yeah? Let me talk. Okay, go ahead. So guys, um, comment down below if you like the boat. Okay. Sounds good. What else? Um. Please leave a. Comment down below. And so. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the, to the channel. Thanks so much. Look at my toys. And she wants to bring her toys. See the bucket? She's like, I want to bring this bucket of toys. And Natalie. My wife, she doesn't want to go because we have a newborn baby, so that's not going to happen. So basically, I'm going to take me and the four kids. Um, Addison's old enough to watch because you got to have somebody like watching the tubers at all times, and then Nathan will watch whenever. Uh, so they'll have to take turns. But I don't really go that fast, so uh, I think we'll bring one other person. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the boat. I don't know if I did a video, an in-depth video. Oh yeah, this boat also has a, um, a bimini top on it that I could take on, take on and off. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that tomorrow or not. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I said four kids, didn't I? Addison, Nathan, Layla, and Drew. Yeah, I don't know, somebody else might come. Like, I think Addison might invite somebody or Nathan might invite somebody. Lily maybe, I don't know. So yeah, I was gonna show you the Bimini top, but it's very easy, you just put it on right there on the back. Oh yeah, I also put these um, fishing pole holder mounts on here, on this beam right there, so, but I took them off. You just screw them in, the little mounts, you screw them in right there but they're on there. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. And uh, we're going to go tubing tomorrow, so I'm going to film it. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.